I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 279, where I'm going to show you how to fix the invalid recurrence along a category formula error. I have here a basic model, and in this cell, I want to put in a date, and I'm going to say 4-23-2020. Okay, and what I want to have happen is I want to then increment this date by one, and I want that to increment by one day as I go down uh, this category of B. So if I go ahead and I continue to hit enter, I would see the dates populate there for me uh, by increments of one. So how do I do that in Quantrix? I would think that I could simply go out here and write a formula that says B equals B previous, plus one. But when I go ahead and I do that, I get this invalid recurrence along range. And I'm like, well, what is that all about? Because then I would probably put in a skip and I say, well, skip B1 because B1 is my input cell. And I still get an invalid recurrence. I would maybe even try to be a little fancy and say, well, go ahead and skip the first B and throw a, a recurrence word in here. And lo and behold, I get the same problem. Well, what's happening is this B previous, when I'm in this cell in B1, which is the first item in my category of B, it cannot calculate what my B previous is because there's no previous to calculate. So what I have to do is I have to force calculation when I'm using this recursion. And how I force calculation on something that doesn't exist when I'm using recursion is by using the tilde. This uh, is also known as soft recursion within Quantrix. And what is, it does is it says force calculation on this category previous. Just force the calculation, which will make it actually zero. Okay. And then go ahead and <clears throat> add a one to that. And if I go ahead and I do this, you can then see that because I have my skip in here, I'm skipping the B1 first, and because I've, I'm forcing the calculation here with my tilde, I can take the 423 and then indeed I increment it by one as I go down across category uh, B down here and I add more items. If I were to get rid of this skip first, okay, and go ahead and simply put in, uh, I comment that out, what happens is it is forcing B1 to then evaluate as a zero here. And then I'm just adding a day to that zero. And I would see that by simply going here. And I could see, well, B, B previous is actually uh, a zero plus one. So I'm adding one to it here. So if I need to force calculation because I'm getting an invalid recurrence, go ahead and use the tilde. It creates a soft recursion and allows uh, you to force uh, calculation in a cell that otherwise would not be calculated because essentially it doesn't exist in Quantrix. So again, if I wanted to add additional days to this, I would go ahead and I would skip B first because that essentially makes this an input cell. And then I could go ahead and put in whatever date I wanted to put in there. And then with my formula, it would go ahead and, and it would increment them by one if I were to go ahead and format them. So how do you correct an invalid recurrence along a category within Quantrix? I would recommend that you go ahead and you try a tilde. And of course, depending on what you're trying to accomplish, you may also need to add a skip in there with a first or go ahead and specify the, the, the item uh, within the category that you need to skip that it, appears first. If you have any questions about recursion, about tildes, about anything in Quantrix Modeler, you know, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. It actually makes my day when I receive an email from you, the listeners out there, asking me questions about Quantrix. So I hope that you won't hesitate. I hope that you'll try to make my day and send me a question that I can help you with and help you become a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.